I just took mom with me, Bella. It's been decided that she'll live with us from today. Huh? What do you mean you took your mom? Where did you take her? She's going to live with us, doofus. So isn't it obvious she's at my house? Whoa, wait a second now. When you say she's living with you, you mean she's moving in permanently? Yes, what's the problem here? Uh, you always make a big deal about taking care of mom. But I really don't think it looks all that difficult. I see it on TV a lot. How looking after elderly or disabled family members is supposedly so tough. But I think it's all nonsense. Yeah, I can't agree with that. I don't think it's easy at all. That's what you always say. But I think you have a vested interest in saying that. No. I guess you take care of mom because you want to snatch her inheritance from us. You may be her daughter-in-law. But you're not a blood relative. So I won't let you do that. You got it? You think I'll snatch her inheritance from you? I wasn't even thinking of doing that. Don't jump to such insane conclusions. I'll be honest. I thought things were going to be so annoying when I first found out that mom needed to be cared for at home. But it turned out to not be a big deal after all. Of course it's a big deal. You really have no idea how tough it is. It's not easy. And this is really tough for your mom, too. Is that so? <laughs> she just lies there all day. I'm actually standing in front of her now as we speak. But do you really think it's so tough for her? <laughs> it sure doesn't look like it to me. I wish I could swap places with her and be praised for doing such a great job lounging around in bed. What are you talking about? Yes, having to lie down all day is tough for her. It must be boring. And she's lacking so much freedom because she can't move on her own. Well, anyway, I've made up my mind. I could take care of mom if she's just sleeping. I'll take her in, so tell my brother for me, won't you? What? How many times do I have to tell you? It's no cakewalk to take care of her in this state. Do you understand how labor-intensive it is? Oh, come on. It can't be all that bad. I bet you must be up to something, even though you're pretending to care. What is it that you want? It's completely unnecessary to spend so much time to take care of a person who's about as active as a potted plant, <laughs> isn't it? You seriously don't get it at all. And I'm not up to anything. You say she's just lying there, but that's exactly why she needs someone to care for her. Yeah, yeah, calm down. Ugh, drama queen. She's just sleeping, right? Then it's fine. I'll just let her sleep on her own. She thinks it's so hard for her to just lie there. So why don't we grant her that wish of trying so hard to just sleep? How can you say such a cruel thing to your own mother, Carol? What? Cruel? What's so cruel about what I just said? She's a hero for just lying there and doing nothing, right? So that's why I'm saying we should just let her do that. Why do you think it's wrong to cheer for her? You're a weird one. <laughs> why did you suddenly want to take her in yourself? Why the sudden change? What's the matter? I don't see the problem here. Why, it's because she's my mother, of course. You visited her a lot when she was healthy. But when she started to need care, all of a sudden, you were nowhere to be seen. Um, you're painting me in a bad light here. It's none of your business, though, is it? Mom sometimes calls me, so I think we're all good here. Your mom told me when she became unable to walk, you stopped visiting her. She was sad and thought you cut her off completely. Oh, yeah, so? What do you mean, so? Uh, so what? Are you blaming me? If anyone, isn't it you who should be blamed? Huh? 
Me? Do you think that I don't know anything about you? I heard the truth about you. You're not so innocent as you seem. You heard what? See? Playing innocent as always. You have a lot of nerve to do what you did, even though you're not a blood-related member of our family. Ugh, hurry up and say your point. What am I playing innocent about, according to you? My mother told me the other day on the phone. She hired a lawyer to help her write her will. I heard it's because there's something she wants to leave for you. She wanted to make sure that all her assets didn't just go to their default inheritors, i.e. her children. Something she wants to leave for me? Oh, you sure sucked up to mom good. You must have known that as her daughter-in-law, you wouldn't get any of her inheritance. You planned to backstab us just to get your filthy hands over our money, didn't you? Huh? Of course I knew I wouldn't be getting your mother's inheritance. Because I'm not her child. Oh, so you did know that you could only get her inheritance if she wrote it in her will. Oh, you sly dog. Huh? What do you mean, Carol? I think that's pretty basic knowledge, isn't it? Oh, well, consider me impressed. I thought you had a pretty small brain for someone with a head as big as yours. But I misjudged you. You're smarter than you look. <laughs> well done, Bella. Ugh, honestly, what is your problem? Why are you being like this to me? You really do have some guts, don't you? Keeping my mother near you all this time. Taking credit for taking care of her. When in reality, all she's doing is lying down all the time. Oh, it must be so hard for you and mom both. Oh, you're poor tragic heroes. <laughs> what a great way to trick mom into thinking you're some saint who saved her. Just so she would put you in her will. You're out of this world. <laughs> you really thought no one would notice. Um, seriously? What is up with you? What you're saying doesn't make any sense. I didn't ask your mom for anything like that. It's you who's not making any sense. There's more to this whole saga. Oh, uh, what is it now? You're still working as normal, aren't you? Yeah, so what? It's not as if you're working less hours compared to before you started to take care of mom, right? You supposedly needed to take care of her, but you didn't quit your job, did you? Which means you go to work the same as before. No shorter hours, not coming home early, no compromises. Yes, but is there a problem with that? You see, taking care of mom, my butt. But you're still after our inheritance. You're such an impudent scoundrel. <laughs> I've never even thought about doing such things. Oh, don't play innocent with me. Mom does have a lot of real estate after all. I bet you're aiming for her property. It's plain to see that you're just a greedy opportunist, Bella. No, I'm telling you, it's not like that at all. I think there might be a big misunderstanding going on here, Carol. Anyway, I won't let things go the way that you want. All of her inheritance is mine. None of you will get a cent of that money. I'll take care of my mother from now on. So it's only fair, don't you think? Be sure to tell Harry what's about to happen, too. Look, I'm not sure how I can get this through to you. I have no evil scheme to get your mom's inheritance or anything like that. That's enough. I know you want it, really. I really think you need to hop in the bath. I can smell the greed and lack of class exuding from you from a mile away. <laughs> 
look, I keep telling you that caring for someone elderly or disabled is hard work. You call that hard work. You work full time, but you can still fit it in your schedule just fine, can't you? She's doing her best to sleep, right? You think you can handle it, but I can't? Ugh, you're a stuck-up, bossy little girl. It sounds pretty easy to me. Anyone can let a patient lie down, right? Ugh, any idiot can take care of a little vegetable who can't move or do anything other than lie there and sleep. Hi, Carol. Harry is going to pick Mom up now. Huh? Why? Tell him to stop. There's no need for that. Huh. Looks like you really are hungry for that inheritance money after all. You will not get a single penny. I'd rather jump off a cliff than give it to you. I had Russell burn the will already. <laughs> you had him burn it? What the heck are you doing? What a shame for you. Your oh-so-precious inheritance is gone now. Along with your dreams of being a leeching inheritance thief. I don't really mind about the will. My much bigger concern was what your mom said when she called us. She said she needs help. What? Help her from what? She's sleeping safe and sound at my house. She called us crying and asking us to pick her up. Harry practically teleported into the car and towards your house. Wait, that can't be right. Ugh, are you saying she's complaining about her living arrangement at my house? Caring for someone isn't so easy. Maybe you just aren't cut out for it, Carol. It's not something that everyone can do. What did you just say? Ugh, you haven't been doing anything for her at all, I'll have you. So you're going to ask me to do this and that, while you won't even lift a finger. So it's rules for thee and not for me, huh? I think you completely misunderstand. Have I ever said that I took care of your mom? What do you mean you haven't taken care of mom? Of course. You've lived with her all this time, so it's only natural you took care of her. How else would Mom have survived all this time? <laughs> you really are old-fashioned, Carol. You're letting your presumptions blind you to the reality of what's really going on. Oh, what on earth do you mean? Just spit it out now. I'm saying that assuming that I'm the one taking care of your mom just because I'm a woman is outdated. Harry insisted on looking after his own mother. Huh? Harry did? Harry told me he can't rely on you to take care of your mom. He says he was right to take on that role in the first place. So he'll keep on doing it himself. What? Harry is the one looking after mom? Oh. So you thought this would be just a breeze because I was working full-time? Harry is going above and beyond to make sure your mom's well looked after all through the day. Of course, sometimes I help him too. We've divided up our own roles, so we're both pulling our weight. I'm working, doing the housework, and most of the parenting. You're lying to me. You can say whatever you want. But I know that you took her in just so you could take all our money, you parasite. Look, I've told you so many times that I'm not. Mom told me that she wrote her will. You must have been the one whispering in her ear to make her do that. Your mom decided to write it of her own free will. You'll excuse the pun. She was barely even able to hold a pen. She used every last ounce of her strength to finish writing that, so that she could leave everyone what they deserved. What's your point? You know what you deserve from her? Nothing! It's our family's money, not yours! 
But you burnt it, right? That's right. Because I won't let you have a single crumb of the pie, let alone a slice. I don't know what was written on that will, but it can't have been anything good. It divided up your mom's assets into thirds. One each for me, Harry, and you. You see, that piece of paper would have taken away money from the rightful owners. I was right to burn that thing. Nice try, but now your only hope is gone. <laughs> the ball's in your court, Bella. But burning the will didn't give you the right to the inheritance money. Um, on what planet? What are you talking about, you moron? You could have had one third of it. If you just played nice. But you no longer have the right to it. So you'll be getting zilch. Oh, but that doesn't make any sense. I'm her actual biological daughter. Of course I get my own mother's inheritance. Ugh, don't talk nonsense just because you won't get anything. Ignorance sure is bliss. At least until reality hits you in the face. I think you've been watching way too many crime and murder TV shows. You destroying that will meant nothing because you weren't the one who wrote it. Only mom can revoke it, not you. Now you're not going to be inheriting anything at all. Man, you really screwed up here. So what if I'm not inheriting anything? Um, there was no way I wasn't going to get rid of that will if mom was planning to leave you anything. I'm glad I did it, and I'd do it again. You still don't get it, do you? You are not getting anything. Only you. That will is on file with a lawyer, and it can be easily checked. We're still in it, and so are you. But trust me, not for much longer. What? Ugh, you and your mind games. Stop toying with me, you conniving little scoundrel! Talk about the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> anyway, you're not going to have a right to the inheritance much longer. Well, that's fine. I don't care. I'll ask Mom to write it again. Oh, she will. Trust me. And you better believe your name's not going to be in it. Now I think you're the one that needs a bath. I can smell the greed and lack of class exuding from you from a mile away. We weren't happy with how Carol just left my mother-in-law lying there alone all the time. So Harry went to her rescue to bring her back to our house. Carol started to avoid her mom like the plague as soon as she started to need care. She only rubbed up to her mom when it was convenient for her selfish goals of getting her inheritance. By contrast, her mother mercifully tried to leave some of her inheritance for Carol. It's ironic that Carol destroyed the will, along with her only chance of getting her share of the inheritance. No matter how many times Carol begged and cried for her mother to write the will again, unsurprisingly, she wouldn't budge. Seems like Carol made a lot of expensive purchases, relying on her upcoming inheritance to pay. But Russell, her husband, found out that Carol would no longer be making him rich. He kicked her to the curb right after that. Looks like she outlived her usefulness. Birds of a feather flock together, I guess. Those two greedy opportunists deserved each other, but it seems like they couldn't stand one another. Carol came to visit our house, asking if she could crash with us for a bit. She was in a lot of trouble with her mountains of debt and being made homeless, to say the least. Harry showed no hesitation in driving her out. My mother-in-law was really down for a few days after coming back from Carol's house. According to her, Carol was also just lying down all the time, but claiming to work hard being a stay-at-home mom. I guess she really was doing her best to lie there. 